so neat. We're now on to the fourth video in our video series and the third step of the scientific process, which is performing our experiment. And in our last video, we worked with Flossie and Harriet from Flossie and the Beach Cleaners, who helped us to build a microplastic sampler, the exact one that we're going to use in this experiment. And they gave us some really helpful feedback and helped us to identify what's going to work the best. Yep, so as they mentioned last week, Flossie and the Beach Cleaners regularly host beach cleans and plastic pollution workshops with adults and children. So because of this, their main priorities were to have a microplastic sampler that was easy to build, easy to use, and ideally it would be possible to make this using materials that you can find around the house. So it was really important for them to not have to buy any new materials to make these samplers. Yeah, and this is really helpful feedback for us because it just wasn't something that we had thought about ourselves. Yeah, because Flossie and Harriet have all this experience with beach cleaning, and we don't have that, so that's why it's really important to collaborate with other people. And on top of all of that, Niamh, working with Flossie and Harriet was actually quite a bit of fun. Yeah, it was. But let's get back to our question. At the end of the last video, after looking at our filters, we decided that the sampler we're going to use in this video would be the 3D printed filter sack. So one important thing that we have to have a chat about before we start heading down to the harbour is that our specific question is how much microplastic is in the sea at Hove Harbour? So in our last video, we didn't actually know how much water was passing through our filters. So this time, what we're going to do is take a litre of water and pour it through our filter. And that's going to make it a lot easier for us to answer our question. So this is just how we're doing our experiment, because this is the question that we want to answer. But your question might be a little bit different. So maybe you just want to know, is there microplastics in the sea? Or what size are the microplastics in the sea? And in that case, you can just use the filter stack exactly how we were doing it in the last video. Now, I think it's time to get going. Hoth Harbour and we're going to sample microplastics from three different locations. Now we've chosen these locations for two different reasons. The first is that there's spots where we can very safely get down to the water to collect our samples and the second is that they're slightly different parts of the harbour and we think that they might have slightly different amounts of microplastics or types of microplastics. Now it's time to go and collect our water samples. We're using these one litre glass bottles. We then pour it through the filter like this and here is our sample. So now we have our samples, we're going to take them back to the lab to have a closer look at them and we'll show you the results in the next video.